This is the Korg Nano Control 2, a low budget control surface for MIDI applications. I'm going to show you how you can make this work out of the box with DaVinci Resolve. So the first thing we're going to do is unplug the USB cable. You'll see the light go off. And then what we're going to do is hold down the set and the play buttons at the same time while we plug in the USB again. And what you'll see is the play button now flashes. And that means your Nano Control 2 is set up for working with DaVinci Resolve. We're now going to go into the Preferences tab of DaVinci Resolve. And here we're going to navigate down to our Control Panel section. And here we're going to choose an audio console. We're then going to look for what console we want. And we want to use a MIDI audio console, so you want to check that checkbox. And then you want to make sure that HUI compatible is selected. And under MIDI input, you're going to choose the Nano Control 2. If you want the lights to work on the buttons, you're also going to choose MIDI output as the Nano Control as well. Then of course, click Save. And my suggestion is you come out of DaVinci Resolve completely and restart. Okay, so I've opened DaVinci Resolve here and it's got a very basic project with some stock footage and some audio tracks underneath it. So what we're gonna do is gonna jump into the Fairlight tab, which is our audio editing tab. And here you'll see the three tracks that I uh, put in. This is some music, some sound effects, and this is um, also a sound effect of some rain. So the first thing you'll notice on the control surface is that the stop light is lit up. And that means that these transport controls are now operational. So if I press play, you'll notice that the audio begins to play. That's the sound of the rain. And then if I hit forward wind, it will forward wind through the track. I can hit stop. I can hit play again, and it will continue to play. Now let's look at our sliders. So over here we have four sliders, audio one, two, and three, and a bus track. And if I move uh, these sliders on my control surface, you'll see that they move in time on the screen. So let's test that in practice. So I'm gonna hit play here, and you'll hear the, the rain. And as I said before, I can adjust the volume of that rain. As you can hear, I can just take the audio of the rain out uh, and leave the sounds of, of the music in or pull it back in. I can also mute any of these tracks and the lights will come on. I can also solo any of these tracks and the lights will come on. And obviously if I wanted to record audio, I could also prime the tracks by pressing the record buttons and pressing the record button here. So that's it for this tutorial. This is a very simple control surface, very easy to use and very easy to set up working with DaVinci Resolve. In my next video, I'll show you how you can use this control surface to do automation, to record your volume changes and your pan changes while using DaVinci Resolve. Thanks for watching.